Greetings! This is Darvain and welcome to a new Let's Play for my channel. This is Kairosoft's Dungeon Village. I have played this massively on uh, Android. This is... I've been raving about this a few times. Basically... Yeah. We started life on and on Android on a, as a mobile game with soft keys, and has only recently been ported to Steam. I mean, so seeing this in a massive 19 by whatever resolution, oh, I forget whatever it is, compared to it is going to be interesting, as well as using mouse rather than touching the screen. But let's get going. I, I have tested this. Everything is the same. It is a straight port, which it might, which is actually quite good, I think. So we're going to see keyboard controls uh, for that. That's good. On the soft keys, adventure name. Ooh. There we go, and we are going to be female. We are Darvain from Darvain Town. Yes, it's named after us. And let's start. Hello. I'll be your assistant. I look forward to working with you. Lots of adventurers visit this outpost town. But recent monstrous attacks have re really put the brakes on the town's development. We need to turn this into a five-star town that any adventurer worth his soul will want to visit. First, select build from the menu and build a shop. Okay. Well, first, let's have a look at the menu. Because it gives us a pause. We have... Well, I'll show you. We have a date. This is what we are in the first year. Fourth month of the first year. We have 5,000 gold. 10 town points. And this is... Well, I'm not entirely sure what that is. To be honest. 1657. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm... I think that was the time, but that's not my clock's time. That's like eight hours ahead, so that's pr uh, probably Japanese time or something. I don't know. But yeah, so we can ignore that. We have, you know, it's fadely down here. We've got a population. Kyrosoft. Let's look at the menus. But first, we have, I want to show you this. We have, let's look at some settings. Don't know if the music's a bit loud. I might turn that down. back to the menu that might be a little bit better I mean it was a little bit loud I think for me but yes we got how to play Dungeon Village this is a town development simulation set in a fancy world of swords and sorcery you must help adventurers grow stronger while developing your town Gameflow develop your town's facilities and equipment to it Attract adventurers and allow them to complete quests. Try to get your town to a 5 star rating. Adventurers use the town to prepare for fighting monsters. They will eventually move on, but in some cases they will decide to stay in town permanently. Adventure Attributes 1. Hit Points. Hit points go down when an adventurer takes damage. When it reaches 0, they fall unconscious. Armors, armor and accessory can boost HP. Attack. Higher attack allows adventurers to do more damage to monsters. Weapons can boost attack. Defense. Higher defense allows arm adventurers to take less damage from monsters. Armor and accessories can boost de defense. Spirit. The higher the spirit, the more damage 
magical attacks will inflict. Weapons can boost spirit. So basic attributes, you have health, which affects HP, strength, which affects attacks, dexterity, which affects a number of attacks, toughness, which affects defense, magic, which affects spirits, and luck, which affects treasure chest contents. Recent adventurers work attribute boosts their work, their basic attributes. This helps them defeat a lot of monsters and lets them contribute to the development of the town. Satisfaction goes up when adventurers use high quality facilities and are given items as presents. Or is it more likely to be triggered when an adventurer has a high work attribute? Or is boost attack the number of attacks and defense? Adventurers will want to move into town once their satisfaction reaches a certain level. Select vacant house from the build menu to build a house. Adventurers with homes in town will pay taxes each year depending on the number of monsters they have defeated. The more monsters they defeat, the more they pay. Giving presents of items or equipment to adventurers increases their satisfaction and work attribute. This can be key to developing the town. You can use town points to change an adventurer's job. Attributes are carried over so once one job is mastered, you can switch to another to make your adventurer stronger. So in, staying at an inn restore, fully restores an adventurer's HP. Adventurers defeated in battle are also taken there so building one in your town is definitely a good idea. Shops. Adventurers can use equipment purchased at weapon, accessory and armor shops. New equipment can be found in dungeons. Adventurers pay to use other facilities, which can increase their attributes. If the quality is high enough, their satisfaction will also rise. Using items on a facility can boost its price, quality and appeal to adventurers. More appealing facilities will be used more often. You will get town points each month based on the number of monsters you defeat. They can be used to change adventurer's job or purchase facilities. Satisfying visiting adventurers and building facilities will increase your town's popularity, attracting new adventurers to your town. Dungeon Exploration Explore dungeons that are discovered near town to look for treasure. The more adventurers that join an expedition, the faster it can be completed. Defeated Monsters Defeat groups of monsters that appear outside the town. The more adventurers that take part, the easier the victory. Fulfill certain conditions to rise in rank. This improves the selection of products in shops and allows you to take on more advanced quests. Hold events to make the town more lively, increasing ad adventurer attributes and satisfaction. You can only hold a limited number of events each season. Put items from shops or monsters into a cauldron to store up magic points and convert them into rare facilities and equipment. Discover new recipes with research. You can give medals to adventurers who have performed well. This greatly affects their satisfaction and work attributes, so choose your recipient's world. The game ends after the third month of the 16th year. Your highest score is calculated based on your funds and clear points, but you can continue to play it as long as you like. When you start a new game after clearing the game once, some of your data will be carried over, making it easier to beat your high score. There we go. That is the help. So, I'm going to zoom out of here. This is the, get a slightly better view, as you can see. And we were told to build a new shop. Okay, first select armor shop from the general tab. So, general tab. Armor shop. Scroll to screen to select where you want to, bu to build by using control of whatever. So, become, this is what's difficult because you used to have to scroll, you usually scroll rather than mouse, which is a bit unintuitive, but that's how the controls were in, on Android. So we built there. Let's have a look in and go see it. An adventurer has come to the gates of the town. Adventurers buy equipment in town before going out to fight monsters. 
So there's our first adventurer, Clown Strike. Who decides to give us money to rest. Completing the new facility has boosted the town's popularity. The more popular the town is, the more adventurers will visit. I can't wait to see how the town develops. So let's have a look and see what else we can build. We have... Well, let's get some paths in, I think. Tap where you want to build a path and drag to build a path. Okay, well... We have, as we can see... Start where, start there, and we're going to drag you down to here. There we go, you don't have to worry too much. I'm just going to set some beef bound, some beefs, uh, some bare bones basics for us, I think. Said the controls is this is a direct port, so the control these are exactly the controls from Android, which is why it's a little bit awkward for me at the moment because I'm having to get used to. Oh, it's a shame they didn't change a lot, of it, but to be honest, the game is so fun in its own right as a basic port that I'm willing to put up. So we're going to do that. There you go, there's our basic bones. That's our basic bones set up for now. See what else we can build. Uh, got sunflowers. Let's build a florist. So we're going to put the florist there. can rotate if we want to, but I don't. And for food and drink we can build, we have a cake shop and we can build a bakery. And I am going to put a bakery here. That should help us out, get us a few bits. So we've got Okay, here they sell weapons which is vital for fighting off monsters. Adventurers can buy equipment here. You can get new weapons as the town develops or by clearing dungeons. So, only got two weapons, iron swords and daggers. Now we can buy these and give them away. This is also the price the adventurers pay for them, so we'll see. And these are their stats. Obviously, the iron sword gives a bigger bonus than the dagger. Okay, we have over here we have Ventures can stay at the stay at an inn to recover HP. The inn's rate the inn's rates will go up when other facilities are nearby or if you use items on it. So we have we can use items to put on it, we'll get back to that later. It's currently level one in. And once it's been used by 49 pe more people, because we all had someone use it, it will go up to level 2. And each time, the, pri the price is 300. And its appeal has gone up because it's next to the cake shop. Okay. This is the cake shop. Again, level one, need 20 more people, and it increases, I think that's health, so they get a bonus to health. And being next to the inn and the armor shop increases its appeal. Okay, they sell armor for adventurers, it helps reduce damage taken in combat. So, same again, view stop. We can buy it nomad clothes and a leather cap. So that's armor and a hat. Now, they both increase hit points and defense. So, we 
we got press and quality for sunflowers that's the decoration look the popularity gauge at the bottom right is full adventurers everywhere we're talking about Darvain town Hello! I've heard that Devane Town is a wonderful town. I think I'll stop be stopping by from time to time. Thanks. So, and this is Devane, that's us. The adventurer Devane will now visit your town. There's a battle going on outside. Let's go watch. Okay. This is the outside town area. And basically, they will just hit and attack and kill there you go and when we do they get gold they successfully defeated the monsters when adventurers defeat monsters they get experience points and the town gets money try to defeat a lot of monsters to help the town develop so basically we provide the facilities and the town goes got the budget as the month moves on and there's our adventurers they're all out there doing their thing see okay this is attack goes up and this is another heart health I believe let's have a look at an adventurer let's have a look at us you can check adventurous attributes and equipment you can also follow adventurers or give them presents so we have this is us the satisfaction work we have HP attack defense and magic as we're a level one adventurer yet yeah, heart is health muscles is strength dexterity is source of dexterity toughness is the shield spirit is the flame ball and luck is a smiley face and have the slots you have your weapon you have an armor which is for your body armor you have for a second arm slot which is for a helmet or shield they both go in the same place fortunately the sprites aren't updated if they're wearing helmets or shield unfortunately and then you get an accessory which an accessory slot because we will get an accessory shop and then use the spells that you can learn by mastering the magic spells, uh, magic jobs. So, let's go back. We're done. Now, we could increase income by putting more stuff. But we'll leave it like that for now. We don't want to fill the space out just yet. A new issue of Adventure News is out. A new beginning. While frequent monster attacks have hampered Darvain Town's reputation, it seems that things may be improving for the little town. The arrival of a new mayor has spurred visits by a handful of adventurers wanting to try their luck. We want to make our town a safe haven for the monster hunter, so please stop by and see what we have to offer, said the mayor with a smile. We will certainly be keeping an eye on the future. Developments in Darvain Town. Okay. Well, I'm showing off Dungeon Village because this is the one I've played the most. I've completed it the most times, I've played it the most. I pretty much know this game inside and out. And it's fun to watch and see and do things. Um, and it is very iconic of most of the games that Kairosoft do. I mean, you can see as they've, as they've progressed through the various games, they've added more and more features. Seems that an adventurer has got enough experience points to go up in a level. The HP and attack have gone up, allowing them to take on even stronger monsters. Yep, that's us. So, 
There we go, we've kind of broke even on what we were doing. Hi, I'm the head of the Adventurers Guild. We help introduce adventurers to towns across the country. See that Darvain Town doesn't have a star rating yet. You can get a star rating if you fulfill the required conditions. I hope you'll give it a try. Getting a star rating will help increase your town's popularity and attract new adventurers. So, to get our first star and become a one-star town, we need to increase our popularity to 300. We need to increase our income to 5,000 gold. We need to hold two events, and we need to have built a bakery, which we've already done. So if we fulfill these conditions, our town will rise in rank and get a star rating. Check the conditions under Menu, Upgrade Down, Town, and try to fulfill them. So, quite a few of those pop-ups. Uh, that's how they deliver the story and the kind of tutorial. So, we'll get used to those. Uh, monsters basically spawn randomly outside. I'll have to try that. I can scrap. I don't know. If, although I think that places it, so I can't really use left click to drag. Right click for a menu though, that's nice. But yeah, so. It's nice being able to see the whole thing, but I think that on this resolution, so you can see the whole screen at once, which is more than you could do on Android with its small resolution. I mean, I'm used to playing it at like this sort of scale, you know? So seeing it sort of this sort of scale is a bit odd. Nice for people who appreciate pixel aesthetics, like myself. But a bit odd. I mean, this to be honest, this would be about the script, the, the resolution you'd, I'd be playing at. So I've just heard that a dungeon was discovered outside of town. That's these these pop up randomly. Dungeon will show up as a quest under Adventurer Quests on the menu. There might be lots of treasure hidden there. We should explore it right away. Okay. Uh, so we have a new quest, which is a cave exploration. There's one trace there, apparently, and it costs us to run the quest, it costs us 1,700 gold. Recruit the adventurers. We we'll see who takes the quest. <coughs> it's not bad. Now, not all the adventurers will go on the quest. We can put, we can spend money. Three adventurers are taking part in your first expedition. I'm sure they'll bring us back lots of treasure. I can't wait. Now we can recruit more adventurers, but they cost us. That costs us money, or we can just start this with the free that we've got. And I think we'll do this. They can do it. Sure they can. They can only do one quest at a time. And cave explorations you'll see down here. The adventurers go on the quest. They enter the dungeon. And now we'll go through and open the chests and kill the monsters. I like to do this monster this this hero is down which means that they need to get dragged they will get dragged back to the inn and they will pay for their healing which is great but it's also a good time to consider doing things so let's look at our items shall we we have let's give a healing item on the next screen select the equipment item that you want to send Try sending some strong equipment to help them become a powerful adventurer. So 
So we have items, weapons, armor. And a leather cap. Okay, we have some accessories we can give them. So what we're going to do is we are going to upgrade. We're going to upgrade uh, how a hero with an iron sword. That should make him a little bit stronger. Change equipment with a present. Yes, we will. So, Fluffy Kiss. Satisfaction and work goes up. They like the gift. Increases their attack. Now, we can use this. This is where we can purchase weapons to give as a gift. So, we could... <coughs> we could, if we were going for a high score, give... All of our heroes iron swords, for example. Not going to bother with that. Uh, nomad clothes. We are going to give Fluffy Kiss some nomad clothes. So they had nothing in that shot. This will be an addition. Now, why um, he heroes will go and b generally upgrade and buy new stuff, but if you give th if you give them stuff, then they will also spend money replacing that equipment. So, the more expensive the stuff, the more money you get from your armor shops as they replace it. But it means the less likely they are to upgrade. So. But it's a good way to make money. You're essentially giving them the gifts so that and saying, look, it's a promo here, buy this. Because at the end of the day, we are the town, not the heroes. The heroes are just how are just our clientele as it were. So let's present Fluffy Kiss with a leather cap. So that's uh, HP and defense will go up. Accessories. Let's give them the leather gloves. Finally, we have items now. We have snow potato. These can be given up to increase stats for our heroes. In this case, it's health that goes up, so we will give Fluffy Kiss a snow potato. Iron pipe increases their toughness. Eh, not as impressed with that as everything else, but it's okay. Toughness goes up by one. A fluffy blanket boosts satisfaction and work. So we'll, although these are generally better suited for buildings, you can give them to heroes and whatever independently. So, for example, this increases satisfaction by three. And of course, we have South. These are healing items. So, HP is restored. They get two. That's it. We will go back. We are done. Back to our stats. Have a look. Go. 
And because she's been healed, she can get back into the quest. Now we've got some... Now the monsters are done. We're going to get some items. We mostly get items from quests. You can get them from monsters as well. And from other sources. The... I mean, the blue chests are basically new equipment, which is pretty cool. The expedition turned up a sharp spear. Weapons you discover will be sold at the town's weapon shop for other adventurers to buy. You can also give them directly to an adventurer you want to make stronger. We've cleared that, we've cleared that exploration. And that's boosted our popularity by 20. And basically this is what we got and how much it's all worth. First, well done, your first dungeon quest is now complete. As you can see some dungeons have valuable treasure inside. Well, other when other dungeons are discovered, try to send adventurers to explore them right away. Yeah. So. And afterwards they will all go and Hello! I finally found the town that's perfect for me. This is it! I'd love to move here, so please build me a house. Looks like an adventurer wants to move to Darvain Town. Select build from the menu and build a vacant house from the general section. Then check it. And then while we were investigating an area outside of town, they discovered a swamp. A small treasure, let's go explore. So, we have a new quest which popped up. Which is swamp exploration, let's do that. Let's recruit the adventurers for that. And we've got a good team. We want to build and we want a vacant house. Cost us a hundred. Let's see where we are building it. Um let's build it. Well, let's build it down here. I think we'll build it there. No. We wanted to build it there. Okay. And we will build a second house. Oh, we can. Oh, that's. We can drag and click to where it is. Okay, fair enough. Just need to click and then click. Okay. So we'll build a second plot there as well. And you'll see in a minute. Tap on a vacant location to see a list of people who want to move in. A new issue of Adventure News is out. We just heard news that adventurers visiting Darvain Town have cleared their first dungeon. While there had long been rumours of treasure in the area, the monsters living in the dungeon had hampered any attempts to retrieve it. But thanks to the efforts of a few brave individuals, the tre treasure has now been recovered. I'd like to use this town as my base, said one participant in the expedition. Now that I've had a taste of adventure, I can't get enough of it. I just know I have a bright future ahead of me. Perhaps the same can be said of Darvain Tower. Anyway, so we've got a vacant house. An adventurous home can be built here. If adventurers are satisfied with a the town, they will want to live here. So we've got an applicant list. We've only got one who wants to here, which is Fluffy Kiss. Which costs us... Uh, 1500 gold. But we'll build it for him. Okay, Fluffy Kiss's house has been completed. Satisfaction in the work go up. The basic attributes go up because they've been boosted by 
Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Probably. I do my best to repay you by helping to develop this town. Take this with my thanks. And we get marbled steak. So basically we want to keep lots of vacant houses so that when they want to move in we finally have some private homes in our town. Adventurers with homes in towns will pay taxes according to the number of monsters they defeat. Want plenty of excess vacant buildings, houses from them, so that's another way to grow the town. Our sources indicate that Darvain Town regular Fluffy Kiss liked the town enough to build a house there. When we paid a visit, Fluffy Kiss was smiling happy in front of a cosy fireplace. When adventurers use high quality facilities or are given presents, their satisfaction increases, making them more likely to want to build homes in towns. Will Darvain Town be able to attract more residents this way? We will be watching closely. Okay, Clone the Cleft posted the popularity by 200 and we got some new stuff. Now I am going to save it there. So if we go to system, I will go to save. This has been Darvain doing Let's Play Kyrosoft's Dungeon Village. If you like what you see in here, be sure to like, subscribe, share and comment. Please consider sponsoring my Patreon and until next time. Goodbye.